Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Portugal, where today, well, we'll go down to Monarchy's Pet and bring back Brazil, take a bunch of territory and just chill in general. So, I guess let's just start it. <laughs> now, even though my stability is kinda high, I, like, I'll just think, I think I'll have to rush down to restoration of the monarchy so we do avoid the civil war. Hope we'll be able to avoid it. Now, since we do have a high support for non-aligned, I don't think I'll have to do it for us. I'll just stir it in Brazil and I guess I'll just go up in conscription for now. Then, I don't know, like, I think I'll just use the improved worker conditions to counter the debuff from restore the monarchists. Oh no, what's happening with our neighbor? If I could only abuse this. <laughs> okay, improved worker conditions should counter like the thingy that we got uh, for the monarchists, right? Yeah. Oh, it's time to restore the monarchy. Okay, I think we avoided the bloody revolution, so we should be Gucci now. The real question is, do we want to go remember Olivencia? I don't know how to pronounce it, those are details. But we might start like a monarchist uprising in Brazil, so... Why not? Just some shenanigans, you know. Well, off we are to start a civil war in Brazil. Now, the reason I waited a bit is so that I would get rid of the negative army modifier for us, so just in case you're wondering. Okay, with the civil war started, I will ask, like, Emperor of Brazil for... Well, I do think we should have access to them, right? If not, well, then my plans may or may not have backfired a little. No, we do have good. So we're just gonna rush all our troops in and just in territory Brazil, really. Hmm. Seems like we didn't even have to bring in our troops for Brazil to win. Which Brazil? The correct one, that's who. <laughs> there we go, Integralist Brazil was defeated, Emperor of Brazil is back and... Well, it's time for us to reunite the kingdoms. Ah yes, the Empire has been reunited. What do we do now though? Okay, now that we have reunified with Brazil, we actually have an industry and we can... Potentially do something now. <laughs> You know what, we will focus on Latin America and we will get pu puppet focus on Paraguay and the Soviet Union. We will obviously attack the Soviet Union, like what do you think, I am crazy? You know what, one thing that I will try to do is actually, once the world tension gets high enough, I will try to declare war on them and like, he not help Japan out, just try to take some stuff from China, you know? It's time for us to end the communist threat in South America, of course, what do you think? In Europe with the Soviet Union, no. No, Spain, you don't need any help. You're good on your own, trust me. Honestly, second thought. I shouldn't. I forgot. America guarantees them. Oops. <laughs> um, don't want to start a war with them just yet, so we're just gonna redeploy them in Europe and wait for, like, world tension to go high enough for us to declare war on Spain. I did decide to attack Spain. Well, it's time for us to deal with fascism. At least the one in Spain. Well, deal. <laughs> we all know what that means. Imperialism with extra steps. Oh, never mind. We won't get a war goal on Spain. We just got it on Colombia, Peru, Germany, Italy, and Japan. Okay, well, Germany declared war on Poland, which means they're at war with the Allies. And we're only at 48% world tension somehow. Huh? Okay, finally, Germany, you did it. Good job. Now we can attack Spain. Sorry, Britain, but no, we need them. Also, France is about to capitulate. Like, we just captured the last few seconds before they do it. Huh. Well, it is time for us to declare war on nationalist Spain. I do hope that they don't join the Axis, though. They seriously naval invaded me. Like, boy, you don't have any spare divisions, let's be real. And you decide to naval invade me. What was your plan here? <laughs> Okay, we have encircled a good chunk of the Spanish army, so I do think that should be the end for them. Or at least it should be soon, so yeah, we Gucci. Oh damn, Spain already capitulated. I didn't even realize you did that well. Okay, we're just gonna take their colonies and make a thick Portugal. The rest of Spain will pop it. Well, I would like to think that that is a nice and proper Portugal, the way it should be. Well, I will start justifying on China. Why? Well. I just want their stuff, like really, it's all about the manpower. It's also we can fight Germany later on, don't worry, it's a good cause, it's a good cause, trust me. Well, sorry, Quang Zhi click, but 
It's, it's just what I gotta do. It's for survival of Portugal, trust me. It's for the greater good, believe me, believe me. Well, we have established a bit of a bridge, so I think I'll just build up our supplies here and just let our troops replenish and then push deep into China and just win. Wait, I have no clue what's happening in Europe. All I saw was a message that Trump fell. Now, that brings up the question, what on earth is Italy doing? <laughs> we just capitulated the Guangxi click, so yeah, I think we're doing okay progress for now. Hey, we just encircled a good amount of the Chinese army, so I hope we will slowly bring our war score up. Okay, we will complete a nice little encirclement here in South China and, well, then hopefully just push on and do something about it. Well, we'll try to encircle this part of their army. They don't have many divisions stationed on our front, so I don't know if I want to push because that will end the war quickly and I don't want Japan to take most of China. I want to take at least half of it. <laughs> Yo, what's happening in Europe? How is the Soviet Union already at Warsaw? Guys, don't worry, we will capture the home of the coronavirus. <laughs> well, I think I'll just finish off China and then, well, we will we'll fight in Europe next. Well, let's just take Chongqing and end the war, really. Well, we finally capitulated China, so yeah. Well, as you can see, we got a okay part of China, but I would have preferred more, like really. Well, we are just waiting for our troops to arrive and then we'll declare war on Germany and just save Europe. <laughs> well, it is time for us to declare war on Germany and, well, you know, save Europe or something, I don't know. Well, we have liberated a good portion of France for now, but there's there were still ways to go. <laughs> okay, we have been able to capitulate the Vichy France, but... Now we have to capitulate Germany, so that's a whole different beast to tackle. Well, we have encircled them in Brittany, so that should be a nice little bump in our war's participation. Yeah, that's a whole lot of Hungarian divisions encircled, and a few German ones to add on top. Well, it's time to liberate Paris and just bring back the French fully. Hey, we're doing a reverse Normandy landing. Wait, what? Wait, UK kicked us out of the faction. Why? <laughs> we liberated most of France, what do you mean? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> well, fine, then we'll join the Soviet Union, okay? If you don't want us, we don't want you. Mm -mm. Well, we'll redeploy our forces to help the Soviets, because the Allies obviously don't need us anymore, so... Yeah, here we go, Soviets, we'll help you win. Okay, let's launch our offensive against the Germans and just push them from the east. You know, closing the pocket in the Baltic from the Germans really did break their front fully. Like, bruh, <laughs> it's Portugal who won World War II, not the Soviets, not the French, not the British, not the Americans. No, no, no. The Portuguese did. You know what? We will be the ones that will enter Berlin first, not the Soviets. It will be the Portuguese. Hey, we're about to take Berlin. We already won the battle. Oh, yeah, done. Imagine how faster we would have entered the war if we were cap like allowed to stay in the Allies. Like, just throwing it out there. Yeah, I think we just need to take Berlin and then it should be the end for them, really. Like, they don't have any other major victory points in their control, do they? Oh, we did it. <laughs> That's cool. I guess just Bulgaria has to capitulate now. Yeah, just Bulgaria is left. Okay, let's just take Sofia and end the war with the Axis now. Well, with the peace deal completed, I just want to point out, I took a few colonies in Africa. Then we also made a German puppet, as you can see, Porto Brazilian Germany. Ah, yes, the one true Germany. <laughs> anyway, um, now it's time to capitulate Japan, isn't it? Well, I think we'll just blitz the Japanese now. I, I really don't see how they can win now. <laughs> hey, we have started recapturing our Chinese territories. We might have only captured back one tile, but still, it's the first of the many. It's kind of funny when you think about it. We conquered this part of China from the other side last time we fought here. Well, UK invaded the Japanese mainland, so I think this should spell the end of the war fairly quickly. Well, the UK capitulated Japan, which means we can get a few extra colonies. <laughs> Well, with the peace deal completed, as you can see, there are multiple Chinas now, one of us being ours, and yeah, it's just a whole mess. But yeah, I will end the video here, I hope you all enjoyed it, I hope you all had fun watching it, 
Otherwise, I wish you a very nice rest of your day, and until next time, bye bye.